What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Going to be playing a game on PCGO today, and I've got a brand new deck concept. Maybe not brand new, but it's a it's a new to me deck concept. I was trying to think of a deck to play Electro Power in, right? Because I think Electro Power is a super cool card to come out of Lost Thunder. So I was thinking to myself, like, what are all of the best Lightning type Pokemon in format? Obviously, Zorora GX is a very strong card inherently. I'm not exactly sure that it can hold up in the current metagame with everything going on, but I am going to test out Zorora GX eventually. I am going to get there. Promise that the card is definitely inherently strong, but that's not this deck. I was thinking that, honestly, the best Lightning-type Pokemon in format is Tapu Koko promo. It just still is, right? So I was trying to build a deck that utilized, like, Electro Power and Tapu Koko promo, and then maybe you were going to be, like, doing a ton of damage, and then I was, like, looking around at other good non-GX lightning Pokemon, and I was like, wow, like, okay, there's, like, this Rotom's pretty good, too, and I was like, what if we threw a bunch of tools in here and then attacked with Rotom as well, and then as I started throwing tools in here, I was like, whoa, you got Zebstrika can discard tools, too. Maybe Zebstrika is what Rotom really needed to be a good deck, and then I uh, just basically built a Rotom deck. That's what that's what happened. It's like I started off wanting to use Electro Power. Electro Power ended up having to get cut for more tools, and and now I'm just playing a Rotom deck with Sightseer and Blitzel and also Tapu Koko. So, looks like we are playing against some sort of Snipe deck as well. This is all good because I really wanted to build a Snipe deck. This is like something that I wanted to do for sure. So, we're going to put that Shrine into play. And we're going to Sightseer and discard three tools right off rip here. And leave ourselves with that Lily for next turn. We've got another Tapu Koko. And we could just start flying flipping here any minute. So that's going to be great. And then once we get the Zeb Strika up into play, we're just going to start sprinting our deck away, which is great because we toss all of these uh, tool cards to the discard pile. We have Shrine, we can, you know, use Rodoms, and it should just be fantastic. But that's, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. The Tapu Kokos are meant to kind of soften things up for the Rotoms to eventually sweep. I play a lot of, I play a couple copies of Rescue Stretcher. I play like a couple different copies of the Rotoms. Like I got every color in here represented, I think. I got the water one, I got the fire one. I don't have the grass one. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I don't have the grass one in here. I think that's the worst one. But honestly, like the more I've been thinking about it, like Rotom could be real with like the Blitzel and Sights here. I think like that really helps our case as far as making this. And I also got like Poison Barbs in here. I got a lot of stuff in here. It really helps our case as far as creating like a, a semi valid deck because we're able to just get these tool cards of the discard pile like super, super quick. So I think that what I'm gonna do is uh, I'll probably just attach this. I'm gonna attach the Poison Barb as well. I don't mind that. And then let's just Cynthia for a new hand. We're gonna leave some supporter cards in our deck. No reason to mill those away. And then we've got the Zeb Strika. That is perfect, exactly what we wanted. My opponent's pro probably playing a you know, snipe deck too, if I had to guess. I don't need that Heat Rotom. I don't need the Rescue Stretcher either. So we're just going to sprint this hand away here. And our goal is to eventually get a second Zeb Strike up. Once we get a second Zeb Strike into play, then we're like really rocking and rolling here. And we could just see how absolutely easy it has been to get these tool cards into the discard pile. Like, uh, do I have nine yet? It might be eight turn two, which is absolutely crazy. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Okay, so like we're on track track here. Uh, let's see, four, five, six. Yeah, we're on track here to have nine in the discard pile pretty soon, which is super sweet because, oh, this thing pre <laughs> prevents all snipe. That's right. That's fine. I'm damaging it anyway. That way I can knock it out with the plasma slice, hopefully next turn. We'll use Lily and then we can sprint away our Lily and we'll be good to go. I totally forgot that this thing's going to prevent my snipe, but it's cool. I needed to damage it anyway. And then if he does attack into me, he's getting poisoned with my poison barb. So I think this, uh, at the very least, is a fun deck. I mean, Rotom is kind of probably like the last card on everyone's mind, considering that uh, there are just like a bunch of other very good Shrine decks in format right now. It just, uh, you know, I think the deck has potential. Uh, it's cool. You get to play Zeb Strika, right? So I don't know. What's not to like? It could be neat. Now, 
at first I had like Tapu Cocos in the deck and then like counter energies and I had like the, like it was supposed to be a Tapu Coco spread deck first and foremost, but the more I started playing with it, the more the Rotoms just seemed like stronger altogether. And uh, so like that's, that's kind of what we got going on here. And I don't know, maybe it just does end up being like a little pet deck and we just like put it away and we're like, Andrew, just stop being bad. Yeah, put the bad deck away. But uh, it was just too fun, too fun to do that. Uh, I mean, we got a lot of different options. We can knock out Psychic Pokemon in one hit. We can knock out uh, Fire Pokemon in one hit with our Wash Rotom. There's like a lot of different cool stuff we can do. So maybe worth trying out a little bit. Let's see what we got here. We are going to Lily first, see if we could draw into some more tool cards. Oh yeah, we can. That's right. Uh, and then uh, I think we just attached the DCE here and sprint, get them out of here. So we're in the zone now. We are in the zone where we can attack with our Rotoms for free. We also have Choice Helmet, sweet. And uh, yeah, let's see, I got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then uh, seven, eight. Oh, is it just eight? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. Now we got nine, perfect. And then it's, if you have nine or more tool cards, ignore all cost of effects. So beautiful. We've got there, we got there, sweet. And then, yeah, sure, we'll bench this one too. And then choice helmet, I mean, I guess we don't really need choice helmet, but let's just retreat and knock this thing out. I think with the lightning type, because that's just what we got going on. So sure, well, 120 damage, knock that thing out with plasma slice. Now, unfortunately, uh, we can't attack next turn, so I do have to figure that part out. I do play, uh, I guess, four copies of a skateboard, which should help us with the whole, like, attack cost issue in this deck, but I guess, like, ideally, we want to just be, like, uh, I don't know, I guess we want to just be uh, attacking every single turn, so if we get knocked out, that's cool, we just go up, attack with somebody else, and go on and go from there. Now, now that I'm like actually in here playing the deck though, I'm not even sure that the Tapu Cocos are necessary. Like they may end up just getting cut from the deck entirely. And this might just be like Rotom City out here, which would be kind of cool, like a no energy deck. Uh, we, <laughs> we definitely could do that. Let's see, if we cut the Cocos and we cut the energy, that's eight more spots that we have to play with. And just thinking about what we could do with eight more spots would be pretty rad. I would have lots of room for like Guzmas and things like that. I could probably play escape ropes, would be pretty cool. I could really go in and kind of, you know, tech for each matchup. Like I could play more fire types for the egg stuff and all that. Let's see, my opponent's got Shining Arceus in the active position again. That is a little bit of a pain. So. We are just going to, uh, I don't know, it looks like my opponent is not playing any sort of GX Pokemon. So we're just going to sprint here and discard all those. See if we can't find ourselves a Guzma or DCE works. That's totally fine. So we'll just uh, retreat this thing uh, into the other guy and we'll, uh, that's fine. Yeah, we're just going to retreat and we're going to flying flip here which is annoying. I guess I probably should have put the other one into the active position. I don't actually want to deck out, so I am like playing a little bit conservatively here. I could have used Judge, but I just uh, not super trying to deck out. And I could have like Ultra Balled for another dude, sprinted away again, and just gone for my Guzma. I think that that's probably just the way that this deck wants to function. You guys are kind of seeing my thought process here as far as like, how this deck is going to work, how it theoretically works. Like this is my first time ever constructing a Rotom deck. So this is like all new to me, but honestly, Zeb Strika just seems absolutely insane for Rotom. So I'm gonna give it a shot. And then I think like we cut the Tapu Cocos and we actually just play Electro Powers in here. So like that's gonna be what we end up doing. We're gonna save ourselves eight spots by getting rid of these Cocos. We're gonna give ourselves more space for Electro Power. And then that way we can get over that kind of like that hump there that we really want to get rid of. All right, so my opponent has like a zero card hand, so or two card hand. So we're just gonna go up and we're just gonna plasma slice this thing and knock that out, go down to four prizes. 
Definitely, definitely, definitely. I'm really excited about this actually because the electro powers with this Rotom just seems very good. We could do like 150 with a choice band and then you know with electro power we could easily hit 180, 210, so on and so forth. And we just are like Zeb striking through our deck and can just draw like crazy stuff there. So I really like that. And uh, I'm looking forward, I'm going to play another game with this deck for sure. And I'm going to make those couple changes here before we do. My opponent's going to go into magical swaps. So that's bad for me because they got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. They got 180 damage. So they're going to be able to take like two prizes here. Uh, let's see, 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to all your opponent's Pokemon. Frost Rotom's obviously like just very good against like a, you know, beast box, not a beast box, against a, uh, you know, against the, you know, the deck with the cake pop. Yes, cake pops. Very good against cake pops. They're going to stack a lot of energy in play. So that could be good there. Uh, Frost Mono might not end up being worth it, though. It's kind of just a one of in the deck. And I think I just prefer other Pokemon for sure. But I really want to build this Turbo Road up now that I'm like, now that I got it, just definitely want to build Turbo Rotom. And it's so cool that you can, like, tech it for other decks, right? That you can play the Fire-type Rotom in here for that. You can play the, um, you know, you can play the Lightning types. I don't know that there's anything that's, like, explicitly weak to Lightning, but you can play the Water for the for the Cake Pop. It's just really, really a cool deck, and I love I love the idea of playing a no energy deck as well. And also, I think that this archetype is probably just the archetype that Zeb Strika feels like it was meant for, right? Like, that's just the best thing going for it. Kind of tough here. They're going to knock out all my stuff. And then I've got one Rescue Stretcher left in deck, so I definitely want to find that. Uh, I also have some more Rodoms left in deck as well, though. So we're going to go get... Probably a Rotom. I'm imagining that my opponent wants to like knock out all my Rotoms, but I don't know. They seem to be going in for this Coco here. I have no idea why they want to knock out my Coco. The Cocos are like the worst part of this deck. They have to go immediately. And then we just have to put just more Zebras and more Rotoms and just like Acro Bikes and just like go crazy and mill our whole, whole entire deck away. I also think like Judge will be really good in this deck because you can just go, you can afford to go for an early Judge uh, against your opponent. They left me a Rodom. That's beautiful. All right, I'm very thankful for that. And we actually have a Rescue Stretcher in hand, so we're ready to go. We got an Escape Board in hand as well. So let's go get me a Pokemon from my discard pile into my hand, please. We are going to want that Rotom right there. I'm going to take him and we're going to Skateboard and we're going to Skate on out of here. With, uh, I guess this guy like could be good, so I don't necessarily want to get rid of him. We're going to skate, and then I guess uh, that's my last rescue stretcher, so tough stuff. I wonder if I'm going to have enough Pokemon in here to kind of finish the game off, but that's, uh, that's to be determined. So let's judge my opponent as well. Let's just judge them. Uh, they got a big old hand over there, and we don't really want that. We've got another Rotom, and we've got a Guzma. Sweet! So we will be able to take this knockout easily. And I could sprint. I don't want to. I like these resources. So let's just go ahead, retreat, and we're going to knock this thing out with Plasma Slice. Get in there. Knock out that annoying Lele. And we can see my opponent's uh, deck is really, you know, they're kind of behind on the trade at this point. I've got double Guzma in my hand, so... I only need to take three more prizes. My opponent's got three things in play that have less than 120 hit points, so we're just gonna go like boom, 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 and knock all these guys out. Something that's crazy, let's see, they have different names, right? Yes, they do. All right, so we can only play like four of these, which is interesting. So we have to play in a, I guess, in the version that I'm thinking about playing, like I'm thinking about playing Electro Powers and having this kind of be like our main attacker, more or less. So I think we would only have room for like one psychic one and we'd be playing three of these. And then we probably would play like, you know, a copy of, you know, the Heat Rotom. I guess he just makes sense in case you're playing against Grass type. You can kind of just go in and hit for a huge amount of damage there. So that would be pretty cool. This deck seems like it would probably be bad against like a Decidueye deck now that I'm thinking about it. Like this is definitely a lot of low hit point. Pokemon here, which is not exactly what we want, but uh, you know, it could be fine. We've got the Choice Helmet in here. The Choice Helmet's kind of cool, prevents damage from 
GX and non-GX. Oh, they got a Giratina. So they can Shadow Impact, uh, but then they have to put four damage counters on one of their own Pokemon. They're knocking out my Cocos here. The Cocos are not who I need to stay like in charge. Like Those Cocos are not really getting me anywhere. Though the Giratina does have 130 hit points. That is annoying. I'm telling you, I need the Electro Powers. That's just going to make this deck way better. So they go in and do that. Uh, that's fine. I can like Guzma and knock out something else this turn. But then we're going to need probably a few more Guzmas in order to finish the game off. So let's see what we got going on here. We got this guy in the active position. Uh, we've got that. Let's just uh, retreat. I think I want to retreat and then, yeah, let's just Guzma around this thing. Let's knock out, yeah, that thing. Cool. So we're going to knock out a Malamar here. And then I guess I need one more Guzma. I mean, do I have, how many Guzmas do I have in the discard pile? Tell me not more than one. One. It's cool. I play three. So we should be able to get out of this game alive, potentially. It's possible. Not great, but it is something that I could do if I find my final Guzma here. I will be able to sprint twice, which is great. I can kind of just go through the rest of my deck and then find the Guzma that I need to finish the game off. We're assuming my opponent's going to go in with this Giratina like every single turn here and just Shadow Impact 130, do 40 damage to one of their bench dudes. Like, that's annoying. Having 120 hard cap is like really annoying too. That's like definitely not what we want at all like that is uh that's bad but like i said electro power it's coming we're gonna make it work let's see here we've got another guzma that's good i'll check my deck to see if the guzma's in it i mean really the only way that i lose this game is if my last um my last guzma's prized which it's not there it is okay so we've got here we're gonna get ourselves the second zeb striker just to give that thing a little more hit points great and then we've got Guzma Knockout, Guzma Knockout, and it's going to be sweet. We've got an energy even if we wanted to, like, I don't know, retreat or something. Let's knock out that Oranguru has got, you know, he's low on hit points. We'll knock out another Malamar. That's fine. And then Plasma Slice, get in there. And then we've got our final Guzma for game. So I don't think that there's any way that my opponent can, like, pull this one off with, like, snipe damage or anything like that. They've only got 20 uh, damage total in play here, so I should be good, and <laughs> we are going to emerge uh, victor of the crazy non-GX deck here in this matchup, but I'm about to juice this deck up, see if we can't make it a little bit better here with those electro powers and getting those cocos and the energy out of here. We definitely just don't need that at all. Otherwise, I'm stoked on how the deck worked. It like just got in here and just started going ham very, very quickly. So that was like really exciting to see. 70 hit points is like a little low, not gonna lie. I wish it was like 90. 90 would feel way better, but we're playing a road on deck. Like, come on, what are we what are we really like, expecting here? So let's do it. My opponent's like, wow, third Guzman in a row. I'm like, I know, right? Busted, uh, busted deck. So let's just go in. Yep, there we go. We're gonna knock out the Coco. And well played, sir. Well played. We got there. Rotoms. All right, we're gonna we're gonna edit this list up. That is a little bit too funky. We needed uh, the cocos are bad, 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 bad in this deck. So let's work on this busted Rotom deck together. All right, let's take a look at what we got here. Uh, first and foremost, cocos be gone. You get out of this deck. I also like the electric one. We're gonna play more of the electric one. A two two zip striker seems cool. Heat Rotom, fine. Uh, let's see, what other Rotoms even are there? I think there's just like the Grass one I'm not playing. That one seems bad. Uh, discard Special Energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. That's interesting, uh, but not really what we need. Uh, discarding Special Energy, I guess it could be good. He's also got 90 hit points, right? As does Heat Rotom. So like these are my tankier Rotoms. But what decks utilize special energy right now? Eh, like some decks do, but not all of them. What is this one? This attack does 50 damage when your opponent's bench Pokemon. Oh, there's a different Wash Rotom. That's cool. I didn't realize there's two Wash Rotom. That's pretty busted, honestly. So that is interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. Um, I don't know how good this one's actually going to be now that I'm like thinking about it. It might not be all that great which would be, you know, that's a little bit uh, frustrating. And we'll keep it as like a one-of just in case we like want to get in there against a 
in case we want to get in there against uh, a cake pop deck or something like that. This guy's cool, you know, 20 damage, kind of just spread is like nice. And he's got free retreat, which is super cool. Our main guys are going to be these lightning type Rotoms for sure. And then we wanted electro power. We said we wanted electro power. We're going to get electro power in this deck, honestly. Yeah, let's get that going. So then we're just going to, yeah, we got four electro power busted cards. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Then we're going to play no energy as well. We're just going to, yeah, just get those out of here. And then we can play a couple copies of like Switch. We've got Judge. We've got Sightseer. We've got Lily, Cynthia. Honestly, do I need this many? We got four, eight, 12, 13. That's like a fine amount of supporters. We've got skateboards, poison barbs. You know, we've got tons of tools to throw into the discard pile. I might want like a couple copies of like Switch could be good adventure bag could be good just like go and get them out of the deck i could play a couple i could play like another copy of rescue stretcher which is probably not bad aether paradise like could be played i guess i don't really know that i need too much else though everything else just seems kind of cool copycat i could play counter catcher could play but uh you know i could play crushing hammers damage mover uh that seems bad yeah we're not playing damage mover dude we are not gonna do that uh we don't need anything that has anything to do with energy enhanced hammers escape boards escape ropes i like escape rope like we could play an escape rope in here we could play a uh, copy of switch in here as well probably field blower Eh, not super necessary. Great ball, free search, always like kind of cool. Let's see, house are okay. Heat factories, don't need them. Hustle belts probably aren't going to do us too much. Kahili, no. Kakui, on the other hand, I kind of like Kakui in this deck. I think Kakui could be kind of cool. So let's like, let's throw some Professor Kakuis in here. Um, let's see, two Prism Star cards. We don't really need any Prism Star cards in this deck. Lucid means Mars, Max Potions, Frying Pans. I'm just trying to like, this is how I, honestly, when I'm trying to like do something on PTCGO, this is usually how I end up doing it. It's like, I just will scroll through everything to make sure that I'm not like missing anything. But that seems fine. Yeah, let's play some Kakuis in here. Kakui seems cool. That way we can like take... I don't know, a surprise one-hit knockout or something if we wanted to. So that's neat. And then Guzma's good. Uh, we've got the Heat Rotom in there. We've got two Rescue Stretchers. It's like a lot of Rescue Stretchers. So that's probably fine. Uh, we could play a third Rescue Stretcher. But at this point, like our deck should be very consistent. It shouldn't have any problem getting Pokemon into play. But we'll play, like, Acrobikes could be nuts in here. I don't know, one Acrobike. I feel like we want more than one Acrobike. We probably want, like... And then also a shrine worth it in here, like potentially. I feel like, yeah, there's like a lot of shrine decks, but that's cool. We know one acro bike seems bad. Kakui's good. Let's just go in and our final card will be a switch. And then we're gonna ship it and see how we do. I, like Adventure Bank's good in here too. There's just like a bunch of potentially good cards in this deck. I actually think I want a fourth Guzma. That seems better. Cool, save it, lock it, load it, ship it. Gonna play one more game with our busted Rotom deck and see how she does here. Uh, it's definitely a cool, cool deck, cool idea, and a lot of fun to play. A lot, a lot, a lot of fun to play. I know that Mikey from Deeriums really loves Rotom as well, so I'll have to like brainstorm with him about Rotom's potential. I'm sure he is way ahead of me as far as uh, busted Rotom goes here, but. We'll uh, we'll have to talk with him and see how that goes. All right, so we won the coin flip. That's good. I definitely want to go first because then I can get a pretty quick attack off. I doubt that this deck is going to be getting too many turn one attacks. That does not seem like something that is going to be happening very often here, but it is a possibility. We start Rotom. Is it a possibility? I guess. Yeah, we would have to like sightseer away like a huge handful of just stuff, right? But we didn't start sightseer here, so that's sad. I think we probably do want acro bikes, like the more I think about it. Let's start with, what does this thing do? Uh, spoil of fun, if you go second, does 60 more damage during your first turn. That's a knockout! Oh, that's horrible. All right, well, we're putting poison barb on this thing. And then we are going to Cynthia, and we need to draw some other Pokemon because my opponent's about to knock me out, dude. Uh, this is actually completely fine. So we've got a Rotom here, we've got a Zipstrika, we've got a Shrine, 
and I don't really want to reveal that I play Shrine yet. I don't. I think my opponent's playing Lost March, which that's just like a, an insane starter for a Lost March deck. Like, all right, dude, that's cool, but that's fine. I don't think that we'll be able to attack turn two either. So that's like super depressing. They got Looker. What are they gonna look her for off the bottom of that deck? Is this a Lost March deck? I feel like that's like who this deck you know fits in the best is that they could just go and get a turn 170 damage for free. That's all they got. They ain't got nothing else. Okay, so we can do this. We just need to find a lot of tool cards. Uh, we might not be able to do it though. Uh, they are poisoned. Let's see. I probably am not gonna be able to knock them out. I've got Sightseer for like, you know, you know, sightseer for days here, but that just doesn't actually do me any good. So I think we just throw that down. Um, let's see, I could sightseer into like five. I think I'd rather like sprint first. Is that correct? No, we want, we want to sightseer. We're gonna sightseer away like all these. And then we're gonna hope that we just draw like five tool cards. Well, there's no way we're gonna do it this turn. So we don't have electro power. That's not gonna work. We've got a poison bar. We've got an escape board. Let's just uh, let's just sprint this entire hand away, get some new stuff, and see what our new stuff looks like. Okay, we still got like nothing going on. This is kind of sad. Um, it's taking me a little bit longer than I want to to get the Rotoms up and going. We like need to build the deck so that we're attacking on turn two, unfortunately. But I just don't know if uh, if we quite got it there like we want it to be. Turn two attacking with Rotom would mean that we gotta play definitely like Acro Bikes. We probably, oh, I don't wanna ditch the Electro Powers, but we might just have to in order to fit like acro bikes in the deck. We might not play shrines either and just say like, who needs shrine when you can bust out like uh, infinite damage with uh, with Rotom. And then we could play stuff like Alolan Ninetales as well, which like could be cool because then we can go in with Alolan Ninetales and you can, uh, you know, search out like electro powers and stuff like that and search out item cards. So that might be like the future of this deck that might be like where we end up here now no idea just wholesale no idea what my opponent's doing here they've got a little one meowth they've got sandrew they've got sylveon i just don't know and uh the discard pile is not giving us any sort of uh any sort of clues either so that is just uh that is a, a no-go i have no idea i think we want we need to get nine in the discard pile so i need to like See, I could sprint three away here, which is good. Um, yeah, but then like my sightseers are all gone, so that's not gonna help. And I have how many in the discard pile right now? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, let's just sprint away three, sure. So we'll sprint these away. See what we end up drawing off of that. And uh, sure, we got Lily and two more choice. Yeah, we'll just Lily and yeah, there's Ultra Ball. So that's like good. We're almost there. I'm at one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, oh my gosh, seven, eight. Rough life. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. We're just chilling out here. So let's do, uh, yeah, we're going to get rid of these. Seven, eight, and then we can sprint away our final one next turn. So we will be able to attack here. And uh, that's just uh, eventually. But it's taken us a little while. It's taken us a little longer than we anticipated for sure but definitely gonna be attacking here shortly and i don't actually know that my opponent's deck is going to be able i don't know what their deck is supposed to do they're gonna slush rush they're gonna draw cards and then they're gonna find cards with magical ribbon and then what else are they doing though they're probably not like a sylveon stall deck because they oh they have fairy charms okay so they're going to prevent the damage done to them by your opponents. But I don't have GX Pokemon in here. So the joke's on you, Mr. Rhino Bra or Mrs. Rhino Bra or whatever you go by. That is, uh, that is fine. So we can get rid of this choice band here with our, you know, with our sprint. That's cool. We could definitely do that. And then that allows us to attack. So that would be very good. We got a rescue stretcher as well. I probably want to rescue stretcher the... Yeah, the road on the lightning road on back into play. So we're gonna do that. Let's get the lightning road on there, and then I could sprint for like attached choice band, then sprint. I'm just gonna sprint, so we're just guaranteed 
I also could have judged, like probably should have judged. I just want to guarantee like the nine items in the discard pile. Uh, I got judge again though, so that's pretty busted, honestly. We'll save the electro powers. We're just going to go in here and then judge, and we're going to be hitting for like 150, 160. You know, if my opponent doesn't actually counter that shrine, the Sylveon's just getting knocked out this next turn, so that's kind of cool. Then, uh, let's see, Rescue Stretcher, what else can I get into play? None of that really seems terribly exciting. So let's just Plasma Slice here. Ton of damage there, and then we got Guzma in our hand, so that's great. And then next turn, we could just Guzma so that we can attack again, Guzma Sprint, and just kind of go from there. And we're like kind of in now, like we're good to go. My opponent has just got this crazy deck though. Like, what are they trying to do? What are they doing? I don't know. I have no idea. I do like seeing Alolan Sandslash see some play though. That card is cool. And what's also neat is that like this ability like has seen play before. There was this Slurpuff that saw play with Seismitoad and you played Seismitoad Slurpuff and you just like drew cards with the Slurpuffs which did like the same thing except they had the option to draw two if they were in the active position. But on the bench they drew one card and then you just item locked and so on and so forth. But they're just gonna go search out for more cards, honestly. So I don't know that that's a very winning strategy. I think just searching out cards <laughs> Uh, they are going to have their whole deck at their disposal, but what does their deck really do? That is the question. It's fine though, we are finally here taking prizes with our Rotom, uh, our Rotom gentleman, which is good. We got a skateboard so we can continue attacking, that's good. We got Electro Power, that's cool too. Let's just like knock out one of these, yeah, let's just go in and knock out one of these guys here with uh, the Rotom. Excellent. I don't need to use my Electro Power, so we're going to save that. And then I could Rescue Stretcher. Doesn't really seem like there's a point in doing that. Let's just uh, let's just Plasma Slice. And then we're going to be able to end this game pretty quickly here. If my opponent gets another GX Pokemon into play, then I can just start using Electro Power, Sprint, Electro Power, and, you know, then kind of just take like a big knockout turn if I want to. This deck's fun, man. It took us like way too long to get set up, unfortunately. I think against any other sort of meta deck, we just would have gotten wiped out. But uh, it's definitely, definitely a fun deck. Uh, we could jam, like I said, we could jam like four acro bikes in here and that might help smooth things out honestly like i wouldn't mind that terribly and then we might want more zeb strikers in here as well i feel like we probably are just a deck that wants to see like wants to have like two to three zeb striker in play at all times like that would just be pretty ideal so we'll just escape rope here wait for my opponent to put a different pokemon up and then we'll just uh plasma slice again we're just going to take one two three and knock out, knock out, knock out, and then we'll play one more game so we can get like a real feel as to whether or not the Rotom deck has potential, or if this is just uh, another hour of, you know, gimmicks brought to you by Andrew Mahone. Hopefully they evolve into a Sylveon. I want them to evolve into a Sylveon, and then I want to knock them out in one hit. That's what I want to do. Uh, yes, let me do it. I need to, I got the choice band, I got one Electro Power, then I just need to find another Electro Power, and we can do it. I will be attacking for like 210 damage if I find two Electro Powers. I know I have one left in deck. They won't even see it coming. They won't see it coming at all. That would be sweet. And we have the Shrine as well. So I actually don't even need to. 120, 150, 180. All right. So let's see here. I just attacked with this guy. I can retreat with the escape board. I've got choice band here. I got the, uh, during this turn, your lightning focus attack, do 30 more damage. Okay, we're gonna do that. And then we're going to ultra ball away the choice helmet and the, probably the Rotom, that's fine. And we're just gonna look at our deck. Yes, we've got the two electro powers in there. Do I keep? Yeah, I think I do actually, yeah. We we just sprint this hand away. So then I don't actually judge because I might draw into another supporter which could just be better than, you know, these cards here. So let's see, we've got the Sightseer. We're definitely gonna Sightseer, come on, let's go. We're gonna discard those, draw five. Give me an Electro Power. Gosh, the busted deck, oh, here we go, we did it, sick. Electro Power, Electro Power. <laughs> 
we get to plasma slice for like a ton of damage. Check that out. That is insane, dude. Oh, yeah. 240. One hit KO. Busted deck. Hilarious. All right. We'll do, we'll do one more and see if we can play against something a little bit more like meta oriented and see how we fare there. I am going to tweak the deck just like one more time, I think. That like felt stronger, but like slow out the gates. So I didn't like that we were so slow out the gates. Uh, the Zep Strikers, like I said, we could use more Zep Strikers potentially. We could use Acro Bikes potentially. I think like the Kakuis aren't necessarily needed. We could go just like Acro Bikes there are probably fine and will help us like see a little bit more of our deck. And, you know, we could cut to two Shrine. That's like fine. You know, we're not like super necessarily a Shrine deck. So let's, uh, let's just, yeah, let's do some Acro Bikes here. We're going to get like three Acro Bikes in the deck. That seems cool. That way we're like really chugging along here. And, uh, you know, I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll see. We're going to ship it. Let's do that and see how it goes. Yes, I understand that I have nothing in this deck. All right. One last game. Rotom Busted Ghost Electric, you know, Appliance, you know, <laughs> uh, Appliance Pokemon. Sweet. So, let's see what we're playing against here. Now, this looks like this uh, Fire Psychic Dark. I don't actually know. Guess it could be a cake pop deck, but I'm not sure entirely what the dark would be. That doesn't really seem to make any sense to me. I still don't think that we have, you know, just any options as far as getting a turn one attack goes. I really want to turn one attack, but that just seems like that's asking for way too much. So we probably can't ask for a turn one attack out of this deck ever. I think we would have to just draw way too many things in the correct order. And we would definitely have to Sightseer. Like, that's just uh, a given. So, let's see. We do have Sightseer just off rip here, which is cool. So, I will be going in and just Sightseering away pretty much this entire hand. So, that's great. And then we also have Frost Rotom. I saw Fire, so we may end up using Frost Rotom here, which could be pretty dope as well. Oh, and like I said, we might end up deciding we want to put Alolan Vulpix in here. Alolan Vulpix could be really cool. Oh, yikes. We are playing, <laughs> playing against a Trash Lance Garbodor spread deck. Oh, gosh. Why are, why now? And Hoopas. Oh, well, I got no problem with Hoopa. That's going to be totally fine. So we got to just hope that my opponent's deck is not like either. Oh, I was going to say not super Trash Lance oriented, but sure enough, it's super Trash Lance oriented. So that's fine fine that's okay we just got to get out the gates quick and we'll be okay we can't like we definitely can't fall behind here we do have judge turn one that's not good we don't want judge turn one we got poison barb that's okay we could end up using poison barb at least we're not going to get benched here so that's good we'll just judge my opponent again we're going to slap that poison barb down on the active because that thing's probably going to end up getting knocked out and then next turn, we are going to Sightseer. We're going to Sightseer three away and hope that we find some better cards because this is really sketchy. Uh, my opponent could go in for 80 damage turn two. Uh, I guess they can't trash lance me yet, which is good. Oh, they're definitely going in for 80 damage turn two. Bad, 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 bad. So hopefully we find an Ultra Ball or some Pokemon or a Rescue Stretcher or anything like that, and we don't just end up losing here real quick. But, oh, I believe in this deck, though. I do. The Substrika, man. There's so much synergy here. Uh, so much synergy between Rotom and Zeb Strika and Sightseer. It loves all the discarding, but my opponent's got a great draw for that. They got Lily, so that's no problem at all. We might need to play, like, nest balls in here we might need to play an orangaroo in here too that's just a possibility so they got that they're gonna poison themselves ha you're poisoned that's right you take it deal with that i think at this point though like i i probably can't win because they are just going to be able to they got a turn two attack going first so i just can't really trade with that so that's just bad for me we're going to discard all of these things and just go all in and try to see what else we can draw here. we got double acro bike, so that's kind of good. We'll take the sightseer again. That's fine. Um, yep, and then we'll acro bike one more time, and we will take the synth 
Cynthia. Or the shrine doesn't matter. Yeah, we'll take the Cynthia. That's fine. And then we're going to bench this thing, and we're definitely getting knocked out again next turn. So this is really, really, really bad. One, two, three, four. Four items in the man, the Rodon deck. I don't I don't know. I don't think it's got it, guys. We <laughs> we won our first two games, but those weren't real games. And now we're playing against like a non-GX deck that can actually attack on turn two, and we're just gonna end up crumbling to it. Though we are gonna be able to fire off 120 turn after turn here pretty shortly. Just not quite. Yeah, my opponent even feels confident enough to throw that switch down. And what a beautiful switch. They've got beautiful switch, beautiful rainbow energy, beautiful cards on my opponent's side of the field. I've got beautiful appliance ghost Pokemon. That's what I've got, but it's all good. Let's uh let's do a little bit more of an aggressive draw here. We need to like Cynthia and find ourselves a a little zebra man. That's who we need to find. Uh, a little zebra man, I said. Oh, this is horrible. This is the worst situation I could have possibly ended myself in. Uh, alrighty then. Uh, we're going to just put that there. Fortunately, I don't actually get knocked out. So unless they go and attack with the Garbodor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In which case, I'm definitely getting knocked out. Because uh, I have seven items that is carved out. One, two, three, four, four. All right, four, five. Oh, yikes. This is horrible. Maybe I need to play Adventure Bags. Oh, they're going to Guzma me. That's that's horrible. <laughs> I think, you know what, guys? We've had enough. I think that, you know, you got this, my dude. We couldn't get there. Oh, we couldn't get there this game. Okay, so failed experiment. You guys let me know if you have a sweet Rotom deck uh, that works, okay? Because this is just, uh, this has been a little bit of a mess. But it does have potential maybe to be like a fun pet rogue deck at least it's better than it was right i don't know all right there's no there's no saving the rotoms but they were a lot of fun and i like zeb strike a lot with rotom so anyways let me know do you guys think that you could build a rotom deck that works let me know in the comments below uh what deck do you like electro power in the best i think electro power is a cool card and it has potential i just don't know exactly where to put it yet so let me know what you guys thoughts are on rotom in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell. Check out the Etsy store and Patreon stuff in the description below. Peace.